All right. Uh, what are we at? September 15th? That is the date, yes. Frustration. Number one. Number one. Test with, run. With no problems whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. We started at 2, and it's 341. We started at I uh, We started at like 115, yeah. yeah so. Only like two and a half hours. Yeah. Well, we, hey, we got everything set up. Everything is set up. Just needed a lot of effort, but, you know, it's it's set up, and the video's running. The camera's beautiful. The it camera is. feed is looking I am, I'm barely in there. So good. I'm okay with that. I think... You should have shaved. In the future, slide back. I could probably. Maybe we just slide the whole thing back? I don't know how much leg you want to show. I got a lot of gut more than leg. Oh, yeah. Is that better? A lot better. Look at there. Yeah. And the you can full see thing. us and everything. It's going to get better every time. Is that the size of the picture it's always going to be? We Not can sure. make it bigger. No, that's fine. That's, uh... Yeah, you can make it however you want. Burger King. <laughs> Have it your way. That's no sauce. So, <laughs> what would you call this podcast? What would this be? Uh, it's, it's pretty much uh, BS. Um, normal, everyday BS. Uh, and with a little bit of work related and, and maybe possibly uh, a little bit of, of jumbo. Since yeah. Both in that career. It's or, kind of, oh, I almost had it. I just had it in my brain. Like a, oh, I had it. How to describe it? Like the, not ramblings, but like a, uh, I was this close to her banjo. <laughs> oh, for one. Yeah. Um, um, I, I guess like a, a summary of, of what people don't see or what they don't know or even what we thought when we started out, like, yeah, like police. I thought, oh, elites, yeah, they, like, just, these are great. These are these are the elite of the elite. It really them. you pull back the veil yes, and, you and you really just see how. Really, just realize that that veil is on everything. It is. I mean, you just—it's everybody's. Everybody's pretending to know what they're doing. Yeah. Just, everybody's wearing different hats. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's yeah. It's, it's no different in whether you're you're making burgers at McDonald's, uh -huh. being the police, or, or yeah. honestly being a doctor. I'm pretty sure not every doctor or surgeon has been in tearing apart hearts and knowing how to fix them. And it's just it's just a wing. Like oh, I think I know what I'm doing. Yeah, um, I did good enough in school. I got C's. Yeah. Your sore throat is actually caused by, you know, hemorrhoids. Yeah. And I, I for one, going a little bit off of that, would like to see, you know, I know police all have body cams, but I would like to see everybody. It is a dream. Cams. That is a dream of mine. Because how many times have you gone through the fast food and you've been like, that's, that's, not, that's not what you ordered, or we didn't mess it up, or we didn't shortchange yeah. you, or... Something along those lines. You're like liar. Yeah. Roll the roll, you are a, let's roll the body cam. Put it back. on the TV. I want to see it right now. Yeah, that goes for everything. That goes with, with Did you do a two pump on my beef and my taco? Is this telemarketer number three? Yeah, that is telemarketer number three. They all day long. Let's see. Hello. Hi, my name is Daniel. How are you doing today? Doing good, Daniel. Hey, you're live on the air. Um Oh, that's great. You know, I spoke to you last week, but you were busy at the time, and I asked you for a call back. I hope you remember that. Oh, I do. I do. How you been? Okay. Okay. All right. You know, I am calling to let you know. Uh, I, I am calling you. You are perfectly qualified for new additional benefit in this year without any additional cost, like food card, medication, eyeglasses, flex card, and all the counter benefits without any additional cost, okay? Oh, so, uh, do you uh, have any... So Daniel, that is great news. Like Pardon me? One more time? Uh, do you, have any, do you have any secondary insurance like Humana? Can you hear me? I, I can hear you, and so can everybody else. But go ahead. Oh, oh he hung up. They never stay on. They really don't. <laughs> um, looking for quick money. That's the problem with kids nowadays. No conviction. They want that. It's... This, 
Thank God. Thank God the like think, TikTok he, yeah, he nature is I going over it. Maybe I didn't sell it. I, into telemarketers. Yeah. They're looking for the six second like give me your bank account, six seconds. Nope. I'm moving on to the next grandma. See, right there, body cams. That's great. Right. Daniel, yeah. Daniel called me. Yeah. Daniel me. called me. It was rude. When Officer I was, uh, you know, six two one. Yeah. Rude. Telemarketer six two one. Roll the cameras back. Pull yep. Up. Roll it back. <laughs> I wanna see it. It almost should be like written into labor law. That I would imagine you have a body cam on your staff. I would imagine medical staff can't do that. No, no. I guess you could blur I, it out. You put the little sensor. Box no, on no. It. You could do so. You would be like that. Would be like restricted, like by like HIPAA laws and stuff. So you have like the same it. laws that would protect you from seeing. So there's no, there's my no. medical records would protect my body cam footage. I could look at my body cam footage from my doctor. You know? Yeah, I guess you could share it with your attorney. And you could share it with your attorney if you had to. Or, le- no or le- let's, let's be sunshines and rainbows. Oh, I forgot what the doctor told me. Let's, let's bring it up. Bring it up he on told the me, TV. Yeah, he told me four times a day. And yeah, I should have been taking it twice a day. Exactly. Yeah. Or like you tell your wife, yeah, I can have sweets all the time. And she's like, I don't believe you. Like, oh. Bring it up. I don't think you'd lose that one. but No. Well, I think it's like a public, like a, yeah, it's like a society public. thing. Like it's the whole, it's the whole idea of it. Like Plus you drivers. act differently. Yeah. You act differently if somebody's recording you. Oh yeah. If you're if you're on camera, like you will act differently. I say I don't know because I mean most people. Most, but I mean after a while you kind of get used to. It. Yeah. And you're wearing it like. Okay, well I'm gonna have to. It was before. Because because on you, certain cases. Don't you feel like it's weaponized too? Oh, definitely like, weaponized. Like you know, like I got a camera on you now. You better behave. But it's like. Well, they always do that anyhow. Yeah. I mean, like I don't care. Like. Don't you think I'm recording it? Yeah. Most should be. Not everybody records. They wouldn't be employed for very long. Certain places is the Wild West. Yeah. Where you can do anything. <laughs> Worked at a couple of those. There you have it. One of those. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you get raided by the state agency. Um, but it was like no dress code. Like it it's like a potluck or like a it's like casual Friday every day. Every day. Oh, well, jeans weren't allowed. I'm not saying they didn't. I saw in a movie the other day that. That's another thing. Go ahead. The cop had jeans on. That's it, though. It's just yeah. cops had jeans on like a, a button down shirt with a little badge on it. I was like, that's a great place to work. You can yeah. wear jeans. That's another thing. Like the, the betrayer of cops on TV versus reality. Way off. What do you mean? Well, like, I mean, you go back to any, any of the good ones, um, any of the good shows. I'm going kind of old here, but like Starchy and Hutch. You're never going to oh, have well, that I kind of you. car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you no, know, that's, that I mean, doesn't happen. The amount of paperwork that would come with everything that they've done. And, I mean, how long do they keep a car before they deadline it? Usually a long time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it still looks like junk. They're not, they're not fixing anything. Exactly. You would be, You would be up to... The mercy of your city shop, which we all know. Like, is, if you were to give it a star rating, it would be like two Joey hamburgers out of ten, yeah. out of seven stars. Yeah. Well, Joey's actually got better. Got better. They're all they're all on out ten stars now. <laughs> yeah, but when it started, it wasn't. It, it was all took over him the, about it was all over the fifteen board. years. It was all over the board, but he's gotten better on his on his burger rating. I had one of his videos <laughs> saved on my list. It was the Dale Earnhardt mayonnaise one. That was, that was like, why do I have this saved? And he's like me. See, it takes more than one bite. Yeah. Like, I, I got to do it again. Like, I, like, like that's the thing that I was going to. Uh, oh, one of the this. things? Yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, did we even stop on the intro? We no, kind of just rambled that. off, What's which is the, I guess that, that leads, that's like an example, a real life example of like what we wanted this to be. Yeah. A rabbit it's hole. It's like of... a. Yeah, it's like a conversational rabbit hole. 
It's like taking a body cam into a conversational rabbit hole. Put that in the int- put that on like a description. Maybe. Maybe tweak it. It could use some work. But yeah, I mean that's how all conversations go rabbit hole. Start off mm-hmm. with one thing and then you Yeah, yeah. I don't know how we got on. It's pretty Wars. relatable. Yeah. Pretty relatable, I feel. Like everybody kinda does that. Their friends or whoever. I always like the big crowds when you walk in big crowds and you just hear snippets of conversation mm-hmm. and then your conversation revolves around their conversation mm-hmm. until the next interesting conversation comes along and then it totally twists to that conversational butterfly effect <laughs> exactly. exactly you wouldn't have and you, you had no have, idea what the first one even was no clue it just that, that was gone that, that was <laughs> that was so five minutes ago You're like well what would have happened if i would have you know, on that one? if if theirs would have went further down their rabbit hole before i heard it where would that have sent me, it's like a multiverse of people watching. People watching is always the best. It doesn't matter what, doesn't matter where you're at. People watching is great. You could be. A you write any of this down? It's not <laughs> we were worried. It's like six o'clock. Yeah. Um. But you can you can people watch anywhere. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can be at the park, restaurants. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Yeah. And there's always going to be somebody interested. Somebody to, to go, watch. Yeah, I used to go to Hardy's in the morning for the, the elephant graveyard, graveyard yeah. old people. Hmm? Um, and it was a guy in there called Lord of the Rings because he had a looked like a championship NFL ring on every finger. I didn't. I never knew his name, but he would come and talk to me every morning. And I was like, "There's a Lord of the Rings coming in." Is that really people watching? If he's engaging with you, I feel like people watching. You have to be a third party. But he was well. You could watch after. Definitely paid attention usually we paid attention more like i feel like if you come over i feel like if you're talking to him you're on the field like you're in the game i mean it wasn't like you're a, not it, like, wasn't, it wasn't now, a, other, you're you're the you are the sport that's being watched but other it wasn't people a, watch you but it wasn't initiated like ain't like us hey lord of the rings we're sitting <laughs> over here you know <laughs> what are you having today for breakfast no lord of the rings made a beeline right for <laughs> us because he saw us sitting there and then wanted to have a conversation right and usually it's always about my friend my cousin family member does what you do oh uh, yeah. i thought it was gonna be like a uh because you know you get talked to more when, when you were in uniform oh yeah it's the worst yeah and it's always when you're trying to eat yes i don't want to yes. bother you yes well can i ask you a question yes you already fucked up <laughs> messed up I don't know but how. Then again, rated. once again, not even being on camera, then do we you still have to be polite? Yeah, because oh, really, what, you, what you're screaming inside is no, no, you may not. Yeah, because I want to enjoy my burger. I just paid six bucks for, or whatever. Because I'm about to get a call in a minute. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get half of it eaten. It's going to be cold. It whatever. takes me 35 minutes to eat a burger. Yeah. Like I need this time. And for you, they've already it. messed it up because they put ketchup on it. Right. You know what? I never know if they mess it up because somebody's eating it before I can even. That's that's a whole other conversation. That is, that is. <laughs> Write that down. How do you eat something <laughs> that you... Because you handed it to me. That's exactly how I ate it. You handed me your burger. That's a, that doesn't scare you? That I was hungry and just ate it. And had, I didn't know there was no ketchup or no... Yes. Or no pickles or whatever yeah. else is supposed to be on it. Do they have pickles? I don't think they have I don't pickles know. on it. Does it scare you, like how ready you are, <laughs> or is that just like a tr- like you're we're this at that level of trust? Like he's not going to give me like a dog turd. Well, no, I mean it, it's a. I knew it was a burger. It was a burger, but like yeah, I didn't know it had. It, I, knew, I didn't know it didn't have what I ordered. I already know what you would have done if I would have like slipped like a dog turd into it, and I you would have bit into it. it. You've been like, oh, that's <laughs> awful. What is that dog shit? Yeah, let me bite it again. No, no. Yeah, still terrible. No. No, I I true I tried things over again because it may have been a bad bite. Has that ever panned out? I feel in like nobody's run, gonna know what we're talking in about. In the long run, yeah. So what we're talking about is trying something multiple times, knowing you didn't like it to begin. Or trying something, not knowing what you feel like, and then trying it immediately after. Well, yeah, because it may have been a bad bite on your taste bud. You it may you may change your taste buds. And it has, it has, it has worked on me way back in the day. That was, was going to be my next question. Yeah, way back in the day when I was, I don't know, sixteen, working at McDonald's. Oh, so this is recent. Okay, that, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a, same age as you, just or a little this, older. No, no, no. I'm sorry, that wasn't an old joke. That was a how good is the strategy joke. But <laughs> you have to dig back. To it. 
but <laughs> that's, that's, you know, I, I dig back there because I remember it fondly. Okay, okay, okay. It was a, it was a great, <laughs> it was a great, it was a great discovery. It was like a, it was like a rebound. It was a great discovery. Yeah. So I would never eat a hot mustard with my chicken nuggets. I, mustard, I thought was disgusting. I'm on board with that. Just totally disgusting. Yeah. And of course, at McDonald's, we would slip and eat nuggets in the back or burgers or whatever. Normally, it was nuggets, but it was easy. One bite. Oh, while you were working there, you mean? Yeah, yeah. We're 16. Yeah. We okay. Yeah, we're, we're eating. Teenagers here. Oh, That's yeah, nice. yeah. It's like... So, I can't eat nuggets with no sauce. I just can't do it. I find that disgusting. It takes sophistication, yeah. I don't know what a nugget even is. I just know it's a, it's a Cadillac sauce to come to your mouth. That's all it is. That's an excuse to eat sauce. That's what a nugget is. I have always hated that explanation. Go ahead. <laughs> But I would always go with barbecue or, or what's the other, sweet and sour? Those are the two I'd always pick. And I thought that I had grabbed a sweet and sour. Oh, and Lo okay. and behold, I grabbed a hot mustard. Oh. I was in the back, and the boss was up front. I'm like, well, I can't go back up front grabbing sauce. What do you need a sauce for? Oh, because I'm in the back here eating nuggets. That's why I need a sauce. <laughs> and ketchup's not even an option. for Not, not nuggets. Fries, yeah. Nuggets. You don't do ketchup with nuggets? No, that's disgusting. I am not well-versed on condiments. Yeah. But, as one who doesn't eat them. But I tried to eat the nugget with nothing on it, and that about choked me. I said, who, who, could, even, who could even do that? <laughs> That's disgusting. And I said, oh, well, I'm dipping it in here. And I took a bite, and I said, yeah, that's not what I want. That's not, that's not what I want. With the honey mustard? It wasn't honey. It was, it was hot oh, I'm mustard. sorry, just the hot mustard. Yes. I said, that's not what I want. I don't like mustard. Did you know at that point? Because you said you went to go back. Well, yeah, well, I couldn't go back and get another one. Yeah. So, so you... Okay, I got so you. So I knew I had a hot mustard. Okay, you knew it was hot mustard. Yeah, but I also tried eating a nugget plain, and that was not an option. Did you try it twice? Nugget plain? Yes, because I, I tried the hot mustard, and I thought that was disgusting. And then I tried the nugget again, and I said, that is much more disgusting. And I dipped back into the mustard, I said, you know what? This isn't actually that bad. <laughs> and then from then on, I've been eating hot mustard. I love it. When I get nuggets, <laughs> as often as I do, or as, as random as I do, um, I always get the hot mustard. When they quit making it, I was a little sad. At they McDonald's? Yeah, they brought it back. I don't know where I... Wendy's has good nuggets. Burger King used to have... Was, was, it, what, was it good nuggets or cheap nuggets? We're getting ready to say here. Oh, no, no. This is good. Okay. These are fantastic, but they're not, they're not really nuggets. You don't remember the little chicken tenders? Burger King had the chicken tenders. They were like that big. I think I do. Get them in like a like a happy whatever their happy meal was called. A kids meal. Kids meal. I don't know why I remember that. And uh, yeah, like kid vid and all that. Kids sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wheels. I, mean, mm-hmm. I think that was kind of. Uh, was he blue? Wheel? No, he's in a wheelchair. Oh, they still be blue. <laughs> I think they're all kids. I think like. I, I I'm know. thinking Skeeter from Doug. I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> he was green. No, Skeeter was blue, and then who was it? Roger was green. Why do I know that? What was the guy in the leather jacket? The one. That oh, he's the bully. Him. Yeah. Yeah, he had orange hair, right? Yeah, I think he did. He was Skeet- green. No, he had orange hair. Yeah, because Peter was all blue. Yeah, Peter was blue. You know what always gets me is when you watch cartoons like. I'm trying to think of the Arthur. Okay. Yeah, uh, the, for the what is he like? A dingo? I thought it was like an or something. I don't know, but I never understand how animal people have animals like they have a pet dog why isn't that dog a people you have a dog he did he had a little dog i guess it applies like mickey mouse yeah i don't understand that either a goofy what is goofy (laughs) there's rumor that he was a cow but i think it was a dog it couldn't be he being a cow that's not possible that's not possible he would be a bull but like he doesn't have he doesn't have horns. Yeah, but didn't he always? But like his his, his always, like his counterpart, the female was, was a cow. she was definitely a cow. Yeah, I always thought he was a dog. Look at his ears. He's it's a true. dog. Yeah, cows don't have big flat. And look at um his boy Max. Max looks like a dog. And then Max, at least in the little Christmas special, had like a. Girlfriend. Look like a dog. Look like a dog. Yeah. And even Pete, wasn't that the bad guy? 
Pete was definitely a dog. Yeah, the name. Also with Goofy. I, 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 I yeah, Goof is. He was like like Goofy's race. Yeah, for his species. Goofy species. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I guess I think it's, it's a, a dog. dog. But then you got Pluto, who's a dog. It does complicate things. He's an orange dog. Does it, 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 it look like Neanderthals? It's like a, and... Yeah, it's like, it's like orangutans to humans. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what is the... <laughs> what is the hierarchy of dog in the Mickey Mouse universe? The hierarchy of dog? In the there were world. other ones too, and like the there were more than. But like Belle. Belle. Bella? Bella, I think was her name. The Goofy's. Like Goofy's Minnie or, or Goofy's uh, Daisy Duck. Goofy Head. That's the cow. Yeah, it's a cow. It was Bella, I think. He was definitely a cow. Yeah. Dogs and cows shouldn't breed. They should not breed. Well, they look they really similar. Well, who? I, exactly. Who's the baby mama of um, Max? Yeah. We need some backstory on Goofy. On because, the Goofies. Well, you never really know who the mom and dad is of whatever the, what those three little ducks are. Because that's Uncle Donald. Uncle Donald, yeah. So you have no idea who the mom is. There's like some really deep. Tragic story between why there's is that no. The AC or is it right? That is the AC. Oh. Hopefully, that'd be one of the things that, like, the noise gate would. That's raining. I left my. I don't think it's raining no. today. Can't get can't get the Firebird wet. <laughs> That'd be a cold. Well, it'll be. A... <laughs> it'll be a muggy ride back. At what point you had so. At one point, you, like 50% of the cars in your parkway did not have AC. I mean, the one had AC, but it only blew in the dash in the floor. And on one side. <laughs> the one side had AC, the other side was heat. But okay. I fixed that. I fixed so that. you got like 53% so I overall. Fixed that. You did. Yeah. Well, I, I fixed so it. You got a new car by fixing it. Well, I mean, I fixed it from just only having heat on your side. Air. Still just the floor, the dash. I think about it, that's like two people that you've done business with, that you've done business with. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I was hoping that you would. So there's the pigs. Oh, yes. They came yes. about from. Oh, yes. And yes. then there's, oh, yeah. then not that you did it on purpose, but yeah. well, the you pigs sold the trope. You know, the pigs you did. Yeah. Pig, plural. Well, we, there were more than one pig. Well, it one it's pig. pigs, though, because it was three of them in the pen that we were in. It was three. Three. Four. Three. One of them was a male. Two. One was a female. The rest were males. Because he was, had the female. I'm pretty sure it was four. Three. Three. Fixed. Their mouth wasn't fixed. No. Mouth had that big ass tusk. That but it always good. happens. Well, I guess if you really count it, it was like more. But I also got that other pig that I had a little while. The baby pig that I had I'd raised a little bit. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I'd gotten a pig. Um, I went to a, I went to a call, and the guy, uh, I was just his pigs had got a, escaped. I don't know why I'm still with pigs. Pigs escaped, and we had to help round them up and put them back. And I looked, and it was a tiny one. And he said, uh, now this came from the farmer. This thing came from me. I said, well, that's a tiny one. He said, that's the runt. Yeah. I'm probably going to slam his head against the pavement. I said, what? why would you do that? He said, because it's going to die anyhow. I didn't know that. Yeah, because he said it doesn't get the nourishment. The other pigs take it. The other. Yeah. He said, it doesn't get the nourishment, and it will die of starvation. And he said, death to go ahead. Okay. I said, don't, don't kill it. If you want it, take it. I said, well, I can either let this pig get murdered. You're a pig savior. Uh, th that day I was. And then so I ended up taking, I'm taking a pig home. But I had a pig for <laughs> Did it starve about a your, month. No, it didn't starve. starve. It got cold. I, I don't know. It got sick. I say it got cold. 
and probably got sick from it. But I, I had a big thing of hay for. It. I don't know what else I can oh. do. I'm not a pig. I'm not a pig racer. He was trying to. <laughs> you know, I'm, I don't raise pigs. The head slam would have been a quicker death <laughs> instead of froze to death. I don't know if it froze Your false god. I, I, I'm going. Your false messiah. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it froze to death. I'm not a. I'm not a. Uh, an autopsy. You didn't perform either. an autopsy I on it. I didn't perform an autopsy. I buried it, and my kids were sad. I bet they were. Yeah. It's different, like to have like a fish die or even a chicken. What well, was? I mean, it was only, only like gay pig. It was a very much a baby. I don't think I want to see that sadness. <laughs> Wasn't this pig sad. wasn't thought sad. he was saved. Well, he was finally saved got food for numerous weeks, for like two months. He had a longer life than he was going to have with the farmer. <laughs> it wasn't for a lack of trying. Little did he know he made the deal with the devil. <laughs> it wasn't for a lack you of You want to starve or you want to freeze slash? <laughs> you want starvation, frostbite, or <laughs> or sickness? It's like all four horsemen of the apocalypse. He got to pick. I don't know which one killed him. <laughs> well, you know starvation. which one he It wasn't starvation. It wasn't starvation because I fed it everything. Um, so well, it I'd be wide. Yeah. Not of a burst belly. Well, he may have, but he I, that that thing ate that thing ate good when I had him. Name him. They did. I don't know if it was a, a boy or a girl. It was too young. Too young. I wasn't looking through its legs. It's a little pig. There's, nothing has dropped yet. Uh, where, you can't just look at it like a dog? I, I wasn't spreading the pig's legs apart to tell I'm not saying it spread I figured, it apart, but like... I figured in a few years, I, well, six months, I wouldn't know. Wait that long? I, I don't know anything about pigs. I don't know. Obviously. <laughs> if I did... You killed one. You did. killed two. <laughs> You've killed two! Well, the one was supposed to be killed. Was one of them was supposed to be killed. So, like, you're... Yeah. Success rate of raising them is zero. See, that pig would want to see the body cams. It would want to see the body cams. <laughs> if I led my pig, like if I lent my pig to you to be... Well, we will, I will not be uh, leasing or loaning or borrowing <laughs> any pigs. My, I... my success rate with pigs is not great. I also <laughs> would not be involved in pigs of any way. But I did I would be involved for, in animals. You don't have any animals. Right? I don't like, no, yeah. Dogs are fine. I just, you have to, you have to I would it. love to have a dog, but, but it is a lot. You gotta board it. You yeah, gotta feed it. You gotta clean up after. Yeah, it. and even if you like, you gotta pet it. Like <laughs> you know, when when like y'all used to have a dog, or like some of our other friends would have like a dog. It was like y'all do all that. Y'all cl- like you can tell like somebody's like you know I go to another friend's house like they clean up like crazy. <laughs> Get the tools? No, it's just leaning. It's all good. I thought this this looked like it slipped. Yeah, see that slipped. That's all right. Oh no way, you can I yeah, do it like that and tighten that part up. I had it more. Square it up a little bit. Like straight up and down. There you go. I need to do mine like that. Yours is going down now. I wanted mine to be up. I have to rotate it around too. Oh wait, is it? I think you're good. Is that the right way? Yeah. Toner. Yeah, that seems good. I feel like I'm on this camera. That's because you are. Yeah. Move the camera. I haven't been looking something. at the camera. I just looked up now. Uh, Maybe. See, now you're going to be off of it. No, I'm okay being off of it. I'm, I'm funky anyhow. Shut up. I think you carry it better than me. Yeah. There's no way. I'm like I'm like a foot and a half shorter than you, and I weigh more than you. But, see, but it looks good on you. Oh, thank you. Me, I look Michelin man. That's why I always go for just like up here. You can just stick it right up here. You just see the shoulders and kind of like a, like a girl's dating profile. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You like we had the power here, power of a Hollywood. You know, you know, mask back in the day was probably ugly girls. Yeah, same for guys. Yes, I think I would have benefited from that. Maybe 
I don't have the body for it though. That's true. It would take it would take attention off. I also hate like my profile, so like this is the worst. The worst. Well, then look at the screen. I, I don't want to look at the screen. I'm not talking to them. I'm well, talking to you. Yeah, but you can see me. We can fix that. Like later, <laughs> we can do. My vision would be to have like like a camera, like what I see for every, like anybody who's here. I guess this could still be part of the intro. Like, where would this? Where would you like this podcast to go? It's going wherever it goes. Well, no, I'm sorry. Not so much go, but like as far as like developing, like like well, we see, we have me and you today on this rinky dink table. Right. Next time, you know, we'll maybe we have a better too. scene, a better well, better camera set up. Like, where would you like for it to like add more people? Well, definitely more people. Definitely more people. One more person would be great. But like, I was, I would, I would like to have like. Like a camera for every person involved, and then maybe like an overall. That'd be great. Camera, I think that would be really cool. That would be one thing. But we're getting there. First time, we got everything turned on. Yeah. It only took like fifteen minutes. Yeah. Hours and fifteen. Plus fifteen. Minutes. Plus fifteen. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we're still. Like, no, it's 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 very janky. Um. And see, like, if we could get more, I don't know, cameras or something, like, we wouldn't have to sit at a table. Though I think the table, this is like a great, it would be a great setup. Probably with that, if we could get these to work on that table, it would be better if we had more people. Because, yeah. like, look how much space this is taking up. We could easily. Yeah, it'll take up about the same amount of space. I mean, the other thing would be, like, we don't have to have these arms. They have other things that just go on to, like, this. Right. And you just keep them right here, just on our table, little little stands. A little tripod? Mm-hmm. Like a little tripod. So, if it gets, yeah, just a thought, you know? Plus, like, you know, we could have one here and one here going this way. This person sitting, person sitting. I'm with it. But yeah, I think that. I don't think you see any stains. No, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's one good thing about the bad quality camera right now. And it's just, it's not that it's like that bad of a camera. It's just, there's no lighting in here. There's no lighting on us. So we would need, basically, we would need lights. You know, the ring lights would be one thing that you could. That's more of it. So that on, would be more for us. So on my list, number one, I got right off the bat, or worst job. Worst job? The worst job throughout your I feel like I'm probably, like, career as, like, an adult, or, like, career I mean, as in life. In life. So. Work career, I guess yeah, you so could I mean, say. Yeah, so even if, like, you did a side hustle of having to do landscape, you're like, oh, oh yeah, okay. You okay, know? I guess I do have one of, ooh, but is that worse than... I, I would say so. Because you have to, I mean, you have, to look at every, you have to look at everything. Because granted, you know, you may think that, well, you know, landscaping was good if you liked it. But you're like, well, I was only couldn't really live off of that. All that the made, factors. That That's true. All the factors. That's true. Like I would say, like playing games on Twitch, that would be great. But there's no way I could do anything with that. Yeah. Off of. Seven dollars a month income. Is that another? How are they calling you this much? Hello. Plus. Oh, oh. Automated for the school. Yes. Go ahead. You were saying. What was I saying? Worst job. You're saying. Oh. Quits you couldn't do. Yeah, there's not many. You can't really get a meal at McDonald's for seven. No. You have to save up. You're eating like once. You have to save up. You're you're eating. Eating. <laughs> you get the, One time every app. two months. You look at the app and hope you get something free on your birthday. Hopefully you can survive 60 days off of two, three McChickens. <laughs> I don't think those are a dollar, dollar anymore. anymore. No. That's a shame. But I, I, 
I guess when you first asked, like I was like, God, Tom, our banjos worked about. Well, I've, I've worked quite a bit. Of about jobs. thirty jobs at least. Well, it was all in a span of a, of a of short time. Some of those. And I, I, I think I'm only up to like. I think I've only ever had like six or seven jobs. Not many at all. But I would say the worst one was probably working at the plastic That's what I was gonna say. factory in, in, in the city. Yeah. And y'all, yeah, that was, that sucked. Of, of all of them, like if, like if somebody said $100,000 a year, bam, all these jobs that you did, that job would be the last be that the I last would pick. One. I would do this for $100,000. So I'd say that's the worst one. There's some that might have come close, but like... And I don't know if you can count like the one I'm getting ready to say. I didn't have it. But... I, I, I only... <laughs> well, I only worked Daniel for like two months. Well, I mean, you knew it enough that you weren't... Yes. Oh, yeah. I, did, I sold Cutco. You did, yep. Yeah. That was the worst? Probably. Really? Because, I mean, it was... It, I'm looking at a... I'm going to go knock on people. People I don't know door. I'm walking around as a door. So this wasn't a side hustle? This was like, no, this, this is what was, you did? This was going to be my gig. Oh. I thought this was like a... No. no I, like an like, Uber Eats. <laughs> no. Like you're no, doing I, this on the side, baby, no, like a weekend. I was trying to do this for like a, like a living. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, because that's a lot of pressure. Now they, they lied to you in, in the interview saying that you no. make seventy five bucks. An, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> seventy five bucks an hour. And that's if if you was to sell. Yeah. One out of if you're the 10. best salesman yeah. at the company, <laughs> you might make seventy five dollars an yeah. hour. If, one out of ten sales, I think, would. Like 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 one one out of ten sales. Like you've got ten people and you sold one out of every ten. I think it would average out for your your cut of what you were getting from these knives. Take about a half an hour to talk to people, not to mention the drive or the walk mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and all the setup and all that. It's yeah, just, just the, the the talking through was a half an hour. And to be honest with you, great knives. I, I have a set, fabulous knives. You I, still have that I, set? I yes, fabulous knives. How many years has this? Uh, if you 20, if you want to share twenty four years, I think I'm going on. That's pretty years good. Knives. Yeah, they are great. Knives. It's kind of like you got the last laugh. <laughs> like nobody believed you. Like these are the best knives ever. Well, no, I. I it I, is a pyramid scheme, but yeah, also good. Yeah, knives. definitely a py- definitely a pyramid scheme. Um, <laughs> definitely a pyramid scheme, but they are really great knives. I just don't think they're worth what they're charging back then. Even back then, yeah, it was eight hundred bucks a set. Now I think it's about. Yeah. But they, but well, one of the sales things was their forever knife. Not just your lifetime. Yes, and not you. Still. That warranty thing, like. Well, we know the warranty is only for the company, the not company. the goods. Yeah, because the company. I got a, up. I got a warranty on that computer for a company that's now bankrupt. Yeah, exactly. It was uh, a good warranty, though. I didn't buy it. it just we had a, it. A, one guy uh, who, uh, the SCA, he bought a shield. Guy and the guy gave him a <laughs> and it broke the next year and he went back and the guy had the guy had died of a heart attack. Yeah. So warranty no void. Lifetime was a one year less than a year. Yes. And it wasn't it wasn't his lifetime. It was apparently the company the owner's company. Lifetime. Well I guess the company, yeah. yeah. The guy was the company. Yeah. Yeah. Gave him a lifetime. Which yeah. sounds good, right? Like ten yes. ten, you know, lifetime warranty. Our CEO Bernie Madoff like guarantees this product for life. That's yeah. Then wasn't he the pyramid scheme guy? God, I he was he, a pyramid he scheme did, guy. Well, he took money. I don't know what it was. Pyramid. Who's the pyramid scheme guy? I thought that was Bernie Madoff. Might have been. Fallen. I felt like it was coming toward me. No. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't think I felt like it. I'm pretty sure it was. <laughs> it was objectively coming at you. Do you. So, like, what what makes that one be at the top of the list? Well, I, I guess because, like I said, you had to go into houses you didn't. And then I had to I had to psych myself up to try to feel like I was scamming somebody. 
Oh, you know yeah. I mean? so I, like I, you're the you're yeah. the you realize you're the baddie. Yeah. Why and I, baddie? I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't drive my like like my granddad was gonna buy a set just to help me out. You know how grandparents are. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll buy a set. Hey, how much are they? <laughs> well, you know, well you'd be better off just giving me the eight hundred dollars if you're trying to help me out instead of yeah. me getting yeah. two hundred and fifty bucks from these sets of knives and you're getting the knives. Which once again Lifetime they're great, yeah, they're great, they're really great, great knives. knives. Um but just give me the 850 bucks and, and that would help <laughs> yeah. me out more than you buy that would help me out a lot more <laughs> so that was just the that would be the worst part of just being like ah, i kind of feel well it's amazing what humans can justify right like yeah I'm sure we can I'm justify some else. pretty represent re, reprehensible reprehensible why am i not thinking of the right word Bad behavior. Yeah. We could justify it. It'd be like, eh, you know. There's good knives. Yeah. But like they are. But see, are they good knives or is it because... Well, I, I, believe, like, I believe solely they were great knives. You still knives. have them, yeah, so I yeah. solely they were great knives. I just had a hard time... Believing it. Believing... No. No, I believe they were great knives. I just didn't believe they were $850 great knives. Yeah. I felt that I could buy eight sets of knives for $100. And they would probably last me just as long right. as these 25 years. That's true. That's true. Because, like, I think I can go to my parents' house right now. And they have the same knives. And they have kid. knives from when I was a kid. And they were not Cutco. They were, like, Southern Home. But are they still sharp? I don't know. But, like, they'll... <laughs> but they're still there. They're an edge. <laughs> it's a metal edge that you can Did rub you up saw. against the steak long enough. <laughs> that it will cut it. That it will cut it. So did you get steak a lot as a kid, or was it more like did you get the, did you get the like the, what is the the beet like the the cube steak? Was oh, that, cube steak. Um, yeah. Was that was that y'all steak as a kid? Honestly, even when we would eat high on the hog, like tonight we're getting. Yeah. It was hardly ever steak. We never really did steak. Even but was even that, like when too we high would high on the hog. Or was it just that nobody? That's a good question. Steak? I don't. I don't. I don't think it was. It's just, it wasn't my dad's kick. Like, it wasn't his jam. Like, he was more of, like, ribs. I don't eat jam. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen that, right? With Gary yeah. Busey? <laughs> but he's, he's like, buttered sausage. That's your jam? I don't eat jam. <laughs> I eat honey. Kiss it on the lips. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's what I thought you Is it just about. body cam footage of Gary Busey? <laughs> Someone doing saying, an Is he just, <laughs> it's just him in a room by himself? <laughs> It's someone asked. Someone asked him a question. He just started talking about buttered sausage. I don't know. I don't even think it was really him. I think it was somebody doing a impersonation of him. Oh, okay. On a CGI Gary Busey. <laughs> like, go ahead. So, what was your dad's jam? Yeah, it wasn't really like our, our jam. Like, just like when we ate big, it was like we're gonna make like ribs. We're gonna do some like, uh, and like, but like. On one hand, like it's not a steak, but it was a really freaking good hamburger steak. Like, I get it. Like, you know, you think hamburger steak, like you're thinking, like, yeah. oh, we're going to eat this value, value <laughs> menu steak, right? Right. Yeah, that thing is right in the way, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, I, it keeps like, like double scoot it over. Yeah, there you go. But, like, it, it's, it was like, you know, we would do, we, we, we would, we made that thing good. Seasoning, we do like a baked potato. Like it was simple ingredients, but like you know, you can make a fancy burger or fr- fancy whatever. Well, and we put a lot of effort into <laughs> wait it. Wait a minute, because your fancy burger is just meat and cheese. I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Like, is it like a, I told a potato bun. <laughs> yes, yes. It's not. It's not. It's not the southern home like was, little was tiny two buns. Slices of bread. <laughs> Yes, As a from kid, like I hated. It was the worst because it would get so greasy. It would, <laughs> it would get so greasy, and it would just, just bleed through. It would bleed. You could see like your burger through the bread. Yeah. That was so like on a scale from like. <laughs> you got two phones ringing. <laughs> Are they both spam calls? They were. God. What have you all done between you and my wife? <laughs> Got you on these scam lists. 
I um, keep answering. I think that's part of it. I think it's all AI. <laughs> Going back to you. But yeah, like we would, I guess we would put a lot of effort into it. There was a lot of love in that. Like it's not the most complicated thing. You just make a, well, we would put it in a bowl and season it and this became food chat. But yeah, like, but with steak, we really wouldn't do steak. We did we did cube steak, but like it wasn't like oh we're eating cube steak tonight. See, I th- I'm thinking I'm the same way. I, I I think my parents may have did. It was my. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we had it once in a while. I don't think I was like oh great we're having steak tonight. I agree with you. I think ribs was. was ribs or chicken? We, we not really chicken food. wings either. We, we did a lot of fast food. A lot of fast food, a lot of Chinese food, a lot of KFC. My, my, my mom hated. My mom hated Chinese food. Therefore, mm. we didn't nobody food. gets it. One person don't like something. Well, not one person in charge. You know, it's like <laughs> <laughs> exactly person in charge doesn't like something. You're nobody's get it. it. <laughs> yeah, we. I honestly think that the first. God, it'd be sad if I realized like how old I was when I had my first steak. Oh, I was probably like in middle school. Probably. I, was, uh, I can recall probably about the same. We like my grandparents never made it. My granddad would always offer it to me. Now like it now if I could go back and talk to my younger self. Yeah. Or I could get the stuff that my younger self was offered that I turned down. Yeah. Definitely, I'd be like, "Yeah, Granddad's offering me a T-bone steak over here. I'm gonna fry <laughs> that up, and I will exnay on the two dollars going to the convenience store to get a naked candy chicken bar. nuggets." Yeah. <laughs> There's no naked chicken nuggets ever in my in in my lifetime. Your loss, your loss. I would be so upset if I got the Happy Meal. And- <laughs> Those nuggets are not getting eaten. Uh, I could imagine that your amount of disdain for not having sauce in your chicken nugget meal would be the same as if my burger had sh- had pickles and mayonnaise and stuff on it. Exactly. So I get you. I get that. Because I can't. I can't eat them. They're there, and they had the potential to be eaten. Not the sauce. I just. I can't do. It. You like that with burgers too. Burgers, I could, I could, well. You need just a burger. Like, could we, you, we know. We know you know, you're right. I don't even need to ask that question. I know. Well, I yes, could. you can. I, I prefer to have stuff on my burger. But you can't eat nuggets. <laughs> but I, 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 I could probably choke them down, but I, I will be disappointed. Because I've choked some other things. Yes, you have. Yeah. Like, I'm not a big fan of tuna. Get out the can. But I will eat tuna. Hmm. I don't like it. I think they make patties out of Sam, salmon. No, salmon? I have never eaten salmon. Salmon patties? Yes. Deep fry it? I've Not deep fry it, but fry it? I don't it's like know. breading? Is that salmon patties? Yeah, that's salmon patties. The tuna? No. That's good. I like Is salmon it? patties like that. I've, I've never done it. It's, it the, the can turns. Does it come in a can? Well, you, yeah, you can get salmon. I can get. I guess you could get salmon out the can. I mean, I guess I imagine they put it in. Like what can. kind of like a like a tin or like oh, a no, can? Like, like a can. It has like, like a like maybe a, I'm thinking of mackerel. It's just not mackerel. It's definitely not mackerel. It's either tuna or salmon. I think it's salmon. Well, maybe I'm thinking of mackerel. Like salmon can, patty. But I would imagine salmon comes in a comes in a can. Anyway, that would be one thing that my mom would make. Would you eat it straight out the can? <laughs> it was like breaded. Well, I know that it's was. like breading, but do you do well, like, it? I'd like she'd smush it and then put it in some like grease. Yeah, I don't I've fry never, it. I've never done. It. I'm not it's really it good. Be good. Imagine it's like just... a sausage ball, but like fish. fish it doesn't fan. sound that good, but it's good. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the hugest fish fan. Of uh, fish sticks. I can eat fish sticks, but I have to have like. Weirdly enough, weirdly enough. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see. I do like the fillet of fish from McDonald's. Yes, you do. That's disgusting. <laughs> Could you eat fish sticks without sauce? They're basically chicken nuggets of the sea. I think I need ketchup for them. Or mayonnaise. Or tartar sauce, I, I'd say. Man, tartar sauce is just mayonnaise. Yeah, it's like it's mayonnaise. Yeah. I think I'd prefer tartar sauce. Ketchup. Like, I don't even like... I don't, I don't really care for 
shrimp either. Like the shrimp cocktail. I don't like cold shrimp, no. So that little tray. That thing, just warm it up. Just cook it. <laughs> just cook it. Just boil it. Stick it in a stew. Just kind of put it in some butter for like two seconds. Bubble over there. <laughs> shrimp stew. But he's right. Shrimp. Did he? At one point, at any point, did he say cold shrimp? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. I said cocktail, but that's the cold shrimp, right? I guess so. Yeah. I don't know what the other stuff is you dip in. Red sauce, cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce. That's it. Because yeah. cocktail and there's. Was is it ketchup and, and horseradish? Cocktail. What's the other thing? Tartar. Tartar. Yeah. yeah tartar. I cocktail and tartar. I don't know what it is. It snows nasty. <laughs> you never tried it. Have you ever tried to eat shit? No, but we know that that's something you wouldn't. That's something you wouldn't eat. That's no, no one eats that. Like, I bet there's, there's someone there somewhere. Probably is, but there's not like a restaurant you go to. There's not. And be like, give me a shit sandwich. I, I'm sorry. I this is a big planet, yeah. and people can get desperate. Yeah. I feel like you can go somewhere, and like the armpit of like, I don't know, Asia somewhere. There's someone that's like, we make a really good dog shit. <laughs> really good. I guess there's that coffee, that civet coffee. See, exactly. Yeah. It's the cow, the cow, like the cow no, food. Cat or something. That's what it, I'm. My brain thought cat, but I think I did say cow. Did I say yeah, cow? Yeah. I meant cat. Yeah. Cat. Yeah. yeah. Coffee beans. And then... Yeah. Coffee luwak, wasn't it? Yeah. I, mean, I, thought they were, I hope they that was in the movie. Off, I'd imagine. I wouldn't imagine you just see us into the coffee pot. Not the whole feces, just a bean. But so I read you to rinse it off. I don't think you're. I think you don't think you dry it and just <laughs> dust it off to you. I I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. If you wash it off, then what's the point of getting it in the first place? I think because the enzymes have penetrated. I I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a coffee bean civet connoisseur. Me neither. But I would imagine you don't want civet dung. Coffee, although basically putting your coffee is civic dung. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, I, I would think you would just want the bean, not yeah, everything else that comes with it. But I don't know if they like, if they wash it. So like the bean has been processed by the plant, the plant like factory. Yes. The factory was the cat, yeah. so now it has produced a product, and you need to. Refine it. Refine it. Clean it and refine well, it. you do like roll it in hand sanitizer. I don't. I don't. I don't think. I, I would think you wash it, but I don't the know moment you... that you would wash it, it would get all the good stuff off of it. Did you get the next podcast? We'll look. For well, I think it's better to do it this way. <laughs> I think it's better just to go in blind. No, no Google we need, allowed. We need a third person to sit on the side to Google. That's what the professor would be. The well, he would already know. He would. Story. That's what I say. He wouldn't need to. Does his phone even have internet? Oh. Does he have power at his house yet? I think he does. I knew he had power. I <laughs> internet he, was doubtful. He, he, he did take offense to it. <laughs> it wasn't power though. It was internet, and I know he did not have internet. No, he didn't have internet. See, because he was still watching like Tenet TV. Oh so I yeah. Didn't even know it existed anymore. Yeah, you get it on the, like a uh, rabbit ears. Yeah, it, but it's digital. Got a good. digital antenna, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. It just built in now. You no. Have to buy a digital. Antenna. Yep, I think. I think that's how it works. And it gets all the. I was gonna say it's got all the old shows, like but ETV. that would be right up Professor's alley. Yes, it would. So he likes all those, like the old. Uh, I don't think I don't remember yeah. seeing Gilligan's, but like the old westerns and stuff. Yeah, like Gunsmoke. some of those. Uh, Gunsmoke is on there. Andy Griffith was on there. It was a good one. I still like. I like the Andy. Griffith never show. really watched it. I could see. I don't dislike it. Right. I just would rather watch SWAT Cats. And that's another well, SWAT Cats was. Oh, which that should be on there. Should it's not it's cartoons. Not. Yeah, the age of it should place yeah. it on there, but they don't even put cartoons on there. Centurions was that was the, a phenomenal cartoon show. I'm trying to think where's the, the football players that turned the knights. 
heck was that sounds awesome but no no these centurions were it's like these three dudes that like one of them was like the jet guy he was the flying guy i think you're talking about the other one was like the land guy and he had the water guy and they had different like suits that they would suit up with they had like a light one they had like a, a medium fan. one and then it had like a like a heavy duty one i thought it was a gi joe fan gi yeah, joe was cool yeah. 25 percent red lasers Blue lasers, 50% knowledge. <laughs> Knowing. No. <laughs> exactly. That was but yeah, worst job would definitely have been the uh, working in the plant. Long hours, hot. I actually saw one of my old co-workers. Oh, yeah, I have to stand because my back is killing me. I actually saw one of my co-workers What's that store? Academy. Academy Sports. Academy Sporting Goods. I saw one of my old co-workers from there. He's a really nice guy. And he's still there. Is he still liking it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's less of liking it. Oh, there man. There goes yours now. There goes mine. Mine was falling. I thought mine was, too. I think mine was falling as well. Oh, man. Yeah, I think it's less of like he likes it. I think it's more of like, it's what there. else is he going to do? He was a cool guy, though. I still think about what I'm I told him, I was like, man, you are a much better man than I have. I was already gone. So you knew him for two months. <laughs> yeah, I knew him for two months. He's a nice guy. I really That, that whole crew, it was, a, it was actually a pretty fun group of guys, but it was just... You know what? This this sounds very similar, doesn't it? Yeah. A great group of guys that you work with, and well, then the people you work for are shitheads. Oh, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, you know, you don't. Yeah. Sometimes I think you quit. It's like like my, my. Yeah, I quit that. I'd yeah. quit the the I mean, job. The money I made would be going. Part would be going. Yeah. His... You want to skip ahead? I like imagine. You... That those knives are probably worth about a hundred. I just went through eight levels. Went with that many levels, yeah, I would get a decent majority of like two hundred fifty bucks per sale. Sixty bucks. Yeah, it would go. Mm-hmm. Pyramid. <laughs> top, and then the guy at the top that's doing nothing. It's just Mr. Cutco, just raking in from everybody. Mr. John Cutco. Great job out there. Sell some more. Yeah, great job. <laughs> Keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. a... You just made me money. Thank yeah. you. That was very nice of you. Yeah, I guess I would go the same with uh, Herbie Salesman. Vacuum cleaner. I don't think come on. I've never heard of you talking about Kirby. Well, I never so... worked for Kirby. Oh, well, um, but you, that's why I haven't heard it. Cleaner people never came to your house. Do we want to? They, they would always. There's call. not a lot of sales to be had in one of the poor <laughs> counties in the state. Up north, they would always call, so like a telemarketer. Oh yeah. Back when telemarketers were. Instead of ro- yeah, robot AI. Um, but they would call. They would always try to sell you like they would they would kind of trick you or lure you in like I already knew who it was and I already knew the scheme. You're like two steps ahead already. Yeah, so they'd be like, you had all the cards. Like, like you want <laughs> you want a free carpet cleaner. Oh damn, that's great! Yeah. And so Tell what me it was was them coming out and demonstrating this vacuum oh. on the carpet. I knew that's what it was, so I would pull everything out of my living room, and I would have this empty space living room. And they would come in. And I was like, this whole carpet clean, scrubbed. Right. And they were like, "Well, well, you like to show it off?" And I knew they were coming to show it off. Anyway. Right. Yeah. So I would borrow my mom's. Bring it. Set it there. And of course, they're like, oh, you already have one. I'm like, yeah, they told me I want carpet cleaning. So I was hoping carpet cleaning. And of course, the, the guy would vacuum it first. And he would go, you even use that thing over there? Because my carpet <laughs> my carpet would be so dirty because I never even <laughs> used my mom's vacuum ahead of time. They'd have to vacuum it first. <laughs> and they were good vacuums. Once again, they just weren't worth the $2,000. 2000 That's crazy. <laughs> Like, do you even use that? <laughs> oh Are you here for my free carpet cleaning or to ask questions? 
sack. Get to work. <laughs> so I'd have him clean the carpet. The one day it backfired on me, I shit you not. A, a one-legged man showed up at my house. Oh, no. Yeah, and I still made him clean my car. I felt bad. I was like, I hope he doesn't slip on the How did he do that? He jumped. He, he hopped. He hopped on one leg. Cleaned my carpet. I'm I shit you not. Badass. Yeah. And That's awesome. My wife was so, like, she was so And then you said, okay, thank you, sir. Now please leave. <laughs> I felt bad, and I had bought some cleaner off of him. Okay. Because, because I had a one-legged man. So this is where the mercy <laughs> that you extended to the pig originated. Yes. <laughs> okay. But she, when he got out of the car, sort of hopping up to the door, she's like, uh-uh. She, she, she went to the bedroom. Like, I'm not going to wash my hands of this. Yeah, she, yeah, she definitely piloted me on that. One. You're on your own, bud. So, yeah, he hobbled up. To the, and I had stairs, too. And he, and he, he bounced right up. With the vacuum cleaner? And it wasn't like, it wasn't like a, um, it wasn't even like a nub. It was up to the hip. Mm, yeah, yeah. So it looked like a pogo stick. Yeah, yeah. He, he bounced up the stairs with the vacuum cleaner in hand. What a legend. Yeah, and cleaned my carpet, hopped around. I was like, I, and I pray, I was like, oh my God, if he jumps on only him. Wet yeah, feet yeah. From the wet carpet that he just cleaned. Slips. Oh, so it would clean like you'd clean it. Yeah. It oh, wouldn't yeah, just so vacuum. It would... That's what they said. It was carpet cleaner. Oh. And so they had shampooers and everything that were attached to this. Is that like the rainbow thing they do now? Kind of like that, yeah. Never tell you want a free carpet cleaning. If you're like me, I don't have any. Yeah, we're sitting on the only carpet in our yeah. house. <clears throat> Try to tell me it's good for wood floor. No. They, they... I uh, you ever feel like you get to be like a hostage in your own house, Probably. or at least feel like your family <laughs> thinks they're a hostage in your own house? Like, like if we're okay. Like, if we're sitting here right now and just, you know, we're just talking. Like, my front door is right there. Right. Somebody knocks on my front door. I'm not going to go answer it. I'm going to continue doing what we're doing right now. Because I have not got the preliminary text message. Hey, I'm on the way. Or. Oh, I always have. Well, okay, okay. Fair enough. If, like, say, if, like. Sam gets you know if somebody if somebody comes to the door now I'd be like oh that might be Sam right I'll go but I haven't got a text from Sam so but like if I'm just in here range you never no never I've known people like that. I, I, I... <laughs> yeah you know at least one still <laughs> Katie just... my wife will be sitting on that couch so she I'll be it either. Well, no, she she would take the Anne Frank route. She'd go hide like in the attic and shut up <laughs> and just clamor to a blanket and pray that the Nazis go away. And I'm just like, no, this is our house. We don't have to do shit. I, I, have, I do not have to answer I this door. when I was younger, and that's like, you know, back in the day, we didn't have text messaging. I know I'm old. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, that, that was a little different time yeah, for sure. But, yeah. but the door had a note on it that said, we don't answer. Oh. You know, if you're selling something, we're not answering the door. If we're not expecting you, we're not answering the door. And I would knock on the door and I would see them just sitting on the couch. In the, yeah, like, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Open. That's what I'm talking and, about. I would see them sitting there, but they would never, and my buddy would have to eventually come open the door for me. Like, oh, hey. I'm like, what's your family doing? Oh, yeah, they weren't expecting you. Yeah, you know? <laughs> legends. Yeah, I'm down with that. I support this message. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, like, I'm coming to the door. Huh. Don't you see my nose up at this counter? Like, I'm not gonna... I mean, I'd imagine that most times it's gonna be somebody to tell you something. Exactly. Or something. Usually a pamphlet of some sort. like A pamphlet? Time. Yeah. Yeah, like... They're not here. They're not a friend coming to hang out. Well, yeah. I do like. I guess they're more. I don't know what they are. The kids on the bicycles. Yeah. What are those? Are those... So, well dressed. Yeah. White kids. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I like when they come because you can. I don't like to do that though. Yeah. I'd rather do things in my house that doesn't include talking to strangers. Are strange. Come on in. Get a little weary at first. Like, yeah. Are you a serial killer? <laughs> yeah. Though you should be feeling the same way about them. Should, but younger, I, I could take them. One? 
Yeah, I feel like you're wiggling the table. I might be. I have my hand on it. I don't. I don't think I'm. I'm over here doing it on purpose. I don't think you are. That'd be one of the other things we could try to fix. Is trying to get start of your table, but like I don't know. You said tripods. Tripods. Yeah. Little tripods you set on front of us. Yeah, Mormons. I love bringing. Those are young. You know, they're, they're fashionable. And they want to listen. You want to manipulate them. I don't want to manipulate them. Other things. And sway them to your way. I'm not trying to sway them to any way. Like, hey, I got some gardening. That needs to listen to you for 15 minutes. Quid, you go quid pro quo. Quid, quid, <laughs> quid pro quo. You can get the Mormon kids. <laughs> But I do like to just chat with them. I hear, I hear you on your gospel, <laughs> but I raise you one free grass cutting. You're here to clean my carpet. Exactly. Get to work. I mean, if you're going to have somebody come to your house unannounced, then they're going to have to earn. They're going to have to earn. Yeah, most to most of the time that entails them having my phone number beforehand and sending a text. Hey, I'm coming over. So what if like the mail? Ring, okay. Knock, 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 this happened. Package um, drops off. Yep. Or UPS needs a sign. This I'm happened. Um, we had mailman come by and knocked on our door. We're all sitting in here, and Katie goes into in Frank mode. She's hiding. She's I think had like a blanket. She's somebody at the front door. Somebody's at the front door. I was like, Yeah, what of it? We didn't break in, and we're trying to keep from getting caught. You don't have like a, you know, we're not drug dealers, so it's not like police. So, it's like, I have no obligation to go into that door. And I fully plan on exercising that privilege. But then like 10 minutes later, I get a text message from my neighbor. Hey, you don't answer your door, do you? I said, nope. He talk- See, he talks to the mailman. Oh. And the mailman had come by. And told him, I guess, like, I could, they, he'll stop by there and talk to him, you know. Um, and, uh, cause he's, he's retired. So the mailman would be like, you know, I, I could hear him in there. He, so he'd send me a text. But it's like, yeah, I'm not coming to my door. But even if you're the mailman. But then, like, he did, he came back, but he was literally just asking about, what was in one of our packages because it was so heavy. He's like, what is this? It's so heavy. It's cake boxes. And they are. They're like the size of this table. But like, and there'll only be like this many of them, but it's like 80 pounds and it's floppy. So like, hard to carry. And he's like, what the hell is this? He was just trying to, no, I'm sorry. That was another time. But he was trying to get a cake, trying to get Katie to make a cake for him. That was actually business coming to the. It was business coming, yes, but like, you that's you have to be screened by the text message. You got a ring camera, don't you? Now we have a ring camera, yeah. I I feel it's the mailman. Or do you still not look at it? I look at it, but often by the time I look at it and it loads up, they're already gone. They just leave it at the front door. You know, they take a picture of it and they leave, which is fine. That's all I need. Just give me my stuff. I think we did have stuff stolen from our front porch, though. Probably. Yeah, we've had somebody cook because we had asked him, like, "Hey, he's like, I dropped it off." Yeah. But yeah, somebody stole door, it. You had it. We weren't home. We have these things <laughs> called jobs. So then we got a ring camera. Yeah. So it's been great. But they're fun. They're fun. Be sitting in the bed. Be like, Let's see what's going on outside. You just turn on it right, willy nilly. Yeah. Yeah. You can hook it up to like the doorbell stuff, but like I just haven't yet because I didn't have the right plate for it. If you see out there, I, I have it now, but you know I'm just lazy and my back hurts, so that's the excuse I'm rolling with it. Yeah, you can't be coming to my door. I don't know. And I and like, hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm expecting you though, like. Yeah. Like, if you would have said nothing today, like, all day today, and then, like, you come to the door and I, like, oh, it's Tom, like, I, or that's Banjo, I know, to go get it. But, like, just, if you just show up, 
probably not gonna come to the door. So oh, I guess when you have a party, I have a party. You. I'm expecting people. Yeah, yeah. This is not like clearance. <laughs> Get your clearance code. Hey, and then when you send it, it'd be like, it's an older code, but it still checks out. What else you got on the list? Bad jobs. No, you want to go to my list? We can go to your list if you want. So my first one was... Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I, got, I had a couple that were... The, my first was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We could start with that one. It probably wouldn't be very long. Probably not. I, it's been a forever since I've seen it. I uh, see. So yeah, you might. It might have. Lo- it might have. See, so you might have watched it during that time. Then it was good. <laughs> yes, it's kind of like a. Like you go back and watch rose-colored it glasses. Yes. And you're like, oh my god, I can't believe. Especially that. like back in the day, like yeah. back in which I don't think you watched it in. Ain't no way you didn't watch it in 1974. No, I wasn't alive. Yeah. So like, somebody watched it back then. You've been like, yo, this shit is wild. Like, there's n- like, what other movie was going on like that? There's no movie of somebody chopped, you know, like crazy stuff that was going on. Like, you watch it now, it's like, this sucks. Why is this? That's and that's that was the takeaway. Was it me was and it Katie the- were like, why is this movie iconic? Why is it iconic? I think it was. It's just a weird big guy with a chainsaw it was stupid i think it was based off of the oh was so it, was it supposed to be like based on it you know back in the day based on a true story but it was loosely 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 based. it became like encouraged or inspired by true events yes now i, I will go off of this uh, tell you why i liked it and scared from it. i remember my uncle had showed me a movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space? No, it was Killer Clowns from Outer Space. But he had showed me the thing, and it said, based on a true story. Oh, yeah. 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 So How old were awesome. you? Yeah. I was probably eight. And then he throws in a completely Very different Very impressionable. Movie. Yeah. If you were to go to somebody's front door, they'd be like, come cut my grass and <laughs> clean my carpet. But. Then I listen to your he Bible. Throws in, he throws in a whole different movie. Oh. So oh, okay. <laughs> so okay. he puts in Evil Dead. <laughs> the original Evil Dead, not the funny one. The one, you know, and of course the serious now, one. Yeah, you look at it now, and you're like, that. That's actually pretty lame, too. Yeah. As a kid, I'm thinking there's a book out there somewhere that's turning people <laughs> to demons, and you know, that's that's real. That's, yeah. That's real terror. It's said that it's real. It's real. <laughs> yeah. It's based on a true story. It's based on this a true. This, this, this happened. This is a documentary. Yeah. So terrified as a kid, that there's these demons running around the woods that never got. Whatever. You know, I'm kind of sad that, like, my kids are going to miss out on that. Of, like, not being able to just, like... Well, like... <laughs> I'd be scared, but, like... Have any kind of unknown, I guess. Like, because you had no way of knowing. You couldn't be, like... Let me see. Let me Google this real quick. Oh, yeah, is, yeah. The, is this really a true story? Be like, nah, it's fake. Obviously, is a fictional story. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, you just had magazines. That's the best you could have magazines. Yeah. So word, word of mouth is what everything happened. Yeah. Man, I heard about this. It's a real story. It really yeah. happened. And, and you got to do that true. now. Because, I mean, that, how many times did that? I mean, you look at even old movies where, like, and I know it's a movie, but a kid would come to I heard he transferred to another school. Yeah, yeah. Stabbing somebody. Yeah, he and killed And that him. kind of stuff happened in real school. Not quite to that extent. Yeah. But I heard he got kicked out of the last three schools he was in. You know, you get a new kid come. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like the kid well, rumors about the yeah. new kid. Yeah. But I just like I don't know, man. I'm no I'm not like a super insightful movie critic guy, but like when anytime I watch something I'm like, that was really bad. I feel like it's really bad. So so what about it? All right. So it like starts off, right? And it's like they're, they're It has this little right? part about yeah, it's like a group of young young adults in like a van with the wheelchair. With the wheelchair guy. Yeah. And it starts off in the graveyard, remember? All these bodies have been stolen out of this graveyard. And there was like this weird totem set up in the graveyard of like body parts. Don't know who's doing it. Like she gets like this like old guy, my older guy is like, oh, come over here, I think. And that's it. They leave. And you, there, there's nothing else ever mentioned about the graveyard. That was that like. Got a lead and then it just went nowhere. 
Yeah, is that like a nod to the, what'd you say, the Ed? Ed Gein? Ed Gein, he was like the most prolific, crazy cannibal serial killer ever, ever wasn't he? I, uh, I don't even know the real true story. I think Ed Gein just killed his family in May of I think it was true. I think Ed I, Gein, I, I, I say, recognize the name. I, I think say, he's like yeah, the... I'd say Jeffrey Dahmer is probably more of a cannibal. I, I honestly I think that Ed Gein is like, makes Jeffrey Dahmer look like Barney. Oh, you think so? I think. I think Ed Gein was... Like, truly horrific. I mean, okay, Dahmer was too. But, like, I think it was it was pretty, pretty, Ed Gein was truly horrible. But maybe it was just, I don't know. Cause it was one good. person, killing one person is horrible, you know? Yeah. But, uh, like, how do you how do you measure that, I guess? But, got, yeah, I mean, you've got tons of other serial killers out there. But that's the only time, okay, I'll put it that way. Anytime that I hear about, like, serial killers... It's all like Ed Gein is always like brought up as like he was the, you know, the number one guy. He's the Babe Ruth of like brutal serial killer people. But yeah, I just I don't know if that part was a nod to Ed Gein or something. And then because then they get in a van and they fuck off, and then there's like a hitchhiker, which is which is the brother of the. Yeah, he's the brother of Leatherface. And he marks it with his blood, right? The van. Like yeah, he, he cut his, cut his, his cut his hand and the van. stole the guy's knife and just wiped it on the van. And it's just so slow and nothing's happening. It, on, it honestly, at the end of it, I was like, I feel like this is just like torture porn. Like it was just kind of like, let's like, just look at, let's just make this thing be as brutal, brutal as we can. And like, I mean, that's the way it would go. Nothing, there's no meat behind it. It's that's just like. the way you look if you go with, uh, what, what's the other. Like what, Saw? Yeah. I could see that, yeah. yeah I mean, Saw was really. I mean, every, but see, every, like. One's the same movie. Oh, yeah. Like the sequels and stuff for sure gets more in that territory. But like the first one and the, what was the second, second one they were in that house? Well, like, that was a little bit of story there. This yeah. one, it was just kids. Go to a house that was, it was like the wheelchair guy and his sister's um, childhood house. But they didn't know they had like a bunch of crazy psycho cannibal neighbors across their pond in the back. They didn't know. just move in. They've been there for a minute. Well, maybe they decided not to That's bullshit. Them. I don't know. How do you, well, you know your neighbors? That's fair. <laughs> but I'm pretty certain they're not. Murdering people and running around with a chainsaw probably in the front yard. Jeffrey Dahmer. Well, probably not throw a chainsaw in the front yard. Or had neighbors. Yeah, they smelt it. They probably just and he dealt it. it. Definitely dealt it. But, um, like, I don't know. It was real stupid, I thought. It was yeah. just like they run in there and he's like, Wah! and then he just like bonks one with a hammer. Remember that? It's like, got him. And then, like, the next guy comes in, he bonks him with a hammer. Well, puts her on the meat. He gets the girl and puts her on the meat. Did she get off the meat hook? No. So he puts her, he puts her on the meat hook, and then the next fella comes in. Who opens? And the he opens. Then he, the fella, opens the fridge, and the girl that was on the meat hook is in the fridge, and she's like, ah! and then she just stops moving. Like that wasn't even locked. Like you just get out the freezer. Shut up. A what? A hole there from the meat. Well, she jumps. She like jump scared out from the thing though. Oh. Stupid. And then, like, the next 30 minutes was, like, them torturing that last well, poor little girl. I guess if you look at it, the, the, I guess the. It's like shock value is all. Yeah, it, shock, it was just, well, it was very surface even, level even violent. The guy in the wheelchair isn't safe, which honestly would be, in real life, the easiest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he's not running for the wheel. But you would. Okay. Say so you can't run away. Well, yeah. I, I was going to say, I don't want to be painted in a certain brush, but you'd almost want him to be the last one, though. Well, if you were the killer, because he'd be the target. Well, because then everybody else would be slowed down by him. You'd save... It'd be like a That's sniper. Safe. Like, you want to wound your target. Yeah. Then you get other people to try to come help, and you get them. I mean, it's pretty fucked up. Guy in front of him. Sorry, bro. Off. Only then who's the real monster? <laughs> then who's live. the real monster? Only one of us is going to live, or or neither of us is going to live. <laughs> um, you would just expose his friends so. to be a bigger monster than the serial killer. Loud car. Yeah. But I, I don't know. It was 
Because it was like, this is so stupid. Then, like, the way she ran, she, like, ran into the house. Like, she was in the woods first with her with her wheelchair brother, which they called, what they they called it. I, sir, I think you'd get in trouble if you call somebody by that. It was like, uh... Wheels? No. <laughs> in, in, invalid is what it said, but they said invalid. Invalid. But it's spelled, like, invalid. Is that something that would get you canceled now? People probably be pissed at that. Probably. It was like invalid brother. That's how they described it in the movie. I don't know. Well, there's a lot of movies now that you couldn't do now. I, and I'm going off even like family. Well, no, nothing funny. Nothing yeah, funny. Like, like, like even, even family fun videos were family fun back in the day, I should say. Miss Doubtfire. Mm hmm. Yeah. There's no way you could pull Miss no, Which no. I, I would say that, but then you got what, what's what's the uh, is it Maria? Yeah, yeah. Which is truly the same I was about thing. to say Big Mama's house. <laughs> well, that's another one. I don't. Know. Honestly, they couldn't do that. Whatever they did it, <laughs> they shouldn't have. They, truly, yeah. Uh, even Miss Doubtfire. I mean, I watched that movie so got, much, but it was not very good. No, oh, Big Mama's Big house. <laughs> no. Couldn't do that. And I mean, but just. <sighs> Go back to obviously, I mean, Tropic Thunder. Oh, that's like the mecca. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, it's so funny because he didn't even get in trouble for that. Mm-hmm. It was more Ben Stiller for yeah know, going full retard. Yep, Simple Jack. Yeah. Yep. Uh, doing that thing. He got more. He got more heat than Junior did. <laughs> DJ's like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ben Stiller. Thank you, Ben. We see where we stand on the hierarchy of offensive. But like. Like, okay, like, so I would say like compare because there was never there weren't like sequels to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, there was. There were actual sequels or remakes. No, there were sequels. There were there? A, yeah, there's there's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre two. Oh. Got a chance watch that one. Um, not not for it being a great movie. That one actually got uh, that one's got Strider in it. Aragorn. Or Vigo Mortison? Yeah. And two. And so is um who was the bad guy from Speed? Oh god, Speed. Yeah, is, he was also King Koopa in in the horrible Mario. Oh, Wars. um 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 Dennis Hopper. Yes, Dennis Hopper. He's a bad guy in Waterworld too. I love so, yeah, Waterworld. So Dennis Hopper is actually a wheelchair guy's brother. Which is the girl too, the girl there was a girl, the yeah. final survivor. Yeah. That was Wheelchair's sister. Okay. So which I don't know if you get that from the movie, but I got it from the description of the movie. Right. So his brother comes out to kind of get revenge. That seems lame. Yeah. But they, they, when they did the poster for it, they mimicked Breakfast Club. That's her character. It, so it's, it's kind of a, a jokey feel to it. It's not good. It's not good by any. <laughs> the first means. one was not good. Yeah, I feel this one. Like, if you're looking for a more scary, sinister, creepy movie, uh, it's there a little bit, but it's also comical. Yeah, you know, like like Dennis. I don't want to ruin it for you, but, but um, like Dennis Hopper. If I if I ain't mistaken. Instead of having two six shooters, he has like two little chainsaws. Okay, so it's real stupid. So it's, <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. That's a good. Thank you for that's a good way to describe it. Just two little chainsaws. Yeah, I mean they're not like they're not like little little, but it's you like know, dual it's, wielding. It's like he, hedge instead of, trimmers instead of pulling out like two six shooters. Yeah, like a western because he wears like a cowboy hat. He's just got like two two chainsaws. I don't know how you. I have a hard time starting a chainsaw as is. That was another thing. I was like, this is the worst weapon ever. Yeah. As soon as he goes to try to cut somebody, that fucking chain's going to blow right off of it. You're like, oh, wait a second. Let me go take it apart <laughs> and re-oil it. For me, I have to, like, you know, hit the little bubble, like, six times. That's another times, thing, yeah. Put the yeah. on, pull it a few yeah. more times. Yep. Then I got to warm it up. I can't start slicing. Yep, wait a second. Good thing you're on that hook. I got to let the blue smoke clear out. Yeah, uh-huh. And I gotta make sure the gas is mixed correct, and I have enough in there. And see, that was back in the '70s too. So, like, chainsaw technology has not gotten better. I believe chainsaws were around been, back then, yeah, I but it like, might have been better back then. 
Because now there's like safety features. You gotta have like the you gotta have the stop bar on the chainsaw. Probably didn't have that back in the day. I guess so. Which that might be valid. Got cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be valid. Well, like compare that. So like that movie is obviously on the same level as something Jason or or Freddy yeah. or stuff like that. Like you know, Leatherface is. Before I even saw the movie, I already knew Leatherface. Right. Um, which you don't get anything of like he wears his like I was like oh he wears his victims faces or something he's you don't get any of that from the movie no. there's nothing there's nothing in the movie it's just so violence people, yeah that's why I thought it was terrible it's like it's like torture porn but compare that to like like Friday the Thirteenth like that had like a whole story now, it wasn't like the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but like it had something it did have kevin bacon in it they never found his body or the other guy the silly guy like you saw typically like you would see the body right even yeah. as the audience just you didn't see kevin bacon's body you saw him get killed like you didn't have that like reveal of like oh there's his body i guess, I guess you either got the kill Kill cam, or you got the body cam. Occasionally, sometimes you never seen the body. You never seen the body. Ah, you just see that. Yeah, that's true. They'd be standing there waiting. The head guy, yeah. And then, like, the girl was supposed to meet him. Yeah. And out, and then, what? Yeah. And then, boom, he'd dangle from the tree, cut up or stabbed. Or, or the other girl. Yeah. There was several like that. That happened. I think Kevin Bacon was the only one you didn't see the... No, you seen him die. You didn't see the body after he died, though. I think, I think you just saw him get stabbed. Yeah. Through the neck or through the chest? The like chest, because he went through the bed. Yeah. Mom or was that actually Jason? That was mom. First one was mom. Second mom one was, was agile for an order. Was. Yeah. I would I mean what year was Jason? The movie was eighty one. Right. And the, the camp the when he drowned was like fifty eight or fifty seven. Yeah. So like if she's a if she's like 25 when she's in the kitchen cooking. Yeah. You ever notice like the people back And she's the able day, to kill all those people? All those young, young folks? Which actually was kind of cool because it really wasn't a real monster. Or of a monster. Kind of the... Yeah, yeah. That was the, the unknown. Yeah, like the wizard. And then you find out it's just a... It's just like real life. You know, you think like yeah, cops or doctors are real big and people. And then Jason 2 came out and it was Jason. It was Jason. And it went with the Lord. It yeah. started off with a lure, and it wasn't. And it turned to what it was talking about. Yeah. And then you got, you know, you got Freddy. Yeah. You got Freddy's whole lore and story. You got Michael Myers' whole lore and story. Hell, even Candyman has something. But like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was just like, that's why I just thought it was terrible. It was just like, look, violence. It was really even scary. Ones? No. Wasn't Jessica Biel in one of them? I think Jessica yeah, yeah. Biel was in one of the ones they did in the two, when that's, she was hot. That was back from two, Seventh Heaven. She was, yeah. yeah. Did y'all ever have that like debate? Which one was Jessica Biel or Jessica Alba? Was that a thing? Was like a meme before it was a meme. Like which one was better looking? Like which one was better looking? Yeah. I probably would went with Alba. Really? Probably. Man, Jessica Biel is just so pretty. I liked Alba in. I could be wrong. I think she was a hand. I don't think so. Not when you were a teenager. I think Here's she a, I was don't... a teenager when I was like pre-teenager. Hold on. I don't have to Google this. You can't Google. Not during I, the show. I, I just want to know when Idle Hands came out. And if it was Jessica Alba in Idle Hands. Alba in Idle Hands? Alexa, did Jessica Alba play in Idle Hands? Mommy? Oh, Molly. Alexa, what year did Idle Hands come out? This is cheap. Okay. Was, uh, I'm sure that just exploded 20. the camera. Camera? Yeah. <laughs> Ears? Yeah. Earphones is what I meant. This is from '99. Okay. Okay. So I was I was like 20. You were a teenager in '99. Well, I thought I was. I don't know. I don't know the numbers. She probably wasn't a teenager either. You know how... I guess that's true. Because, I mean, how many, how many teenagers were really in 
Friday yeah. the 13th. That's you know, true. Like 20, 20 something playing 16 year olds. Yeah, but they were. Were they really playing 16 year olds? What they were playing. This is awful, man. What's going on here? Uh oh. That was fun. What do you need? Six more hands. Wrong. You were righty, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Yeah, I'm loose. Okay. It was so tight, I can't get it back on there. It's like, I can't, like, sit. My leg. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're about to go to the doctor in a minute. Yeah. I am. Oh, God. What'd you do? I'm going to. Because I got I to gotta get an MRI, so I got to sit still. Oh, yeah. And I can't even lay down without it hurting. Have I got to sit still? Got the heat fit pad? Will that help it? <laughs> I guess it could hurt it. Stretching helps it, so. But, but yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, not impressed. We're going through scary movie like arc right now. Friday the 13th, right now. We just finished the second one. Solid, campy little yeah, and then everyone killer is just exactly the same. Now, I will say, and I know we're on, we're on scary movies, but I'm going to throw this out here. What? movie franchises franchises here do you think that the second one better than the first one i got, I got three off the bat that i'm thinking probably the go-to prime example of that is terminator oh, great yeah terminator 2 that's is, that's amazing. that's the and not taking anything and it's just a testament to how good the second one was yes because the first one was phenomenal first one was phenomenal but the second one was just God, the second one was iconic yeah. and so good, so now, fun. And then the other one I'm gonna go with is Aliens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the space it just it seemed much more. It's the Space adventure. Marines. Yeah. Love like Space Marines versus Aliens. That's just cool. Yeah, great, great thing there. Mm-hmm. The first one was good. Mm-hmm. Like I said once again, not taking anything away from it. Going yeah. Out. And then I'm gonna go with the one off the wall here. <clears> that you may not agree on Matrix. I'm not going with the Matrix. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm going with the Hangover. Oh no! The Hangover Two was so much better than Hangover. Oh no! What have you done? The Bangkok was hilarious. Stupid. There's so many more. There's so many. More. It was the same movie. It was. But there was so much funnier lines. Hangover two, 2 and Three should never have been made. Three should have been. Two was so much better than the first one. I don't think so. Yeah, there's so much better lines. Like, I, uh, you know, give us the monkey. What monkey? Get your own monkey. I mean, <laughs> I'm not buying it. <laughs> Nobody got shot. We're gonna get the monkey back. I ain't worried about the damn monkey, Alan. <laughs> not buying it the original was the best in that case and then of course you know did you die you know that that whole line that was in the second one that was in the second one that is pretty iconic yeah. that one is everybody says that yeah. Yeah. I and did yeah. you die of course the shiitake the shiitake shiitake monkey not the feeling whole, it Alan was probably the best one well I mean the second one that had the, just, like, the third one was god awful the third one I remember the made. third one I watched it one, one time, and I was done. Face that from my memory. Mm-hmm. Um, if they really would have just remade one and two different lines, I'm pretty sure I would have watched them. I thought the first one was funny. The first one was funny. I just, I just think that the second one had better lines. Same guy who made that made the Batman. Director. The director for the Hangover movies? It was Batman. The Batman. That's what the movie was called, The Batman. The newest one. With uh, the Twilight guy? Yeah. That was horrible. What? I, didn't I thought that was pretty good. I never. I, I, I should say I didn't, I didn't watch it all. I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't sit through it. I, I was like, How do you know you don't like it if you don't I try tried, it? I tried. I did try it. I tried it for about 30 minutes, and I said, I'm not... I'm not but it could have got better. It could have. It's actually the opposite with that movie. I feel that movie was really good. And, and then the last part, the last, like, 20 minutes was like, no! They didn't stick the landing. I really liked it, though. A lot of, there's a lot of... There's a, like, I, I don't know. Um, my favorite Batman still, obviously, you can't... Can't go wrong with Michael Keaton. Batman and Robin. No, not George Clooney. That was god awful. George Clooney is like the most overrated actor ever. Yes. Um, He's like the most prestigious actor for I don't know why. Go, but going back, Michael Keaton. 
And yeah. then I'm going to go ahead and say I actually enjoyed Forever or Dark Returns. Knight. No, no, I didn't really care for the Ben Affleck. Not Ben Affleck. No, Dark Knight. Dark, Dark the that? second the second Keaton one. Oh, Batman yeah, Returns. Yeah, I, well, yeah, yeah. Well, see, I actually liked the second one better than the first one. Of Keaton. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Batman yeah. Returns. Yeah, I like that one better than the first one. Or ben, yeah, Batman Returns. I thought the Joker was okay. In, in Jack Nicholson's he, fantastic. He did a good job, but it was still but know, like, a little corny. But like, you get freaking Danny DeVito as the Penguin. Yeah. And then Michelle um, Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Yeah. Michael Keaton as Batman. Christopher Walken is in there somewhere. Yeah. That was a great movie. That was. I need to rewatch two, it. Two was, two was really good. Mm-hmm. But I, I was referring to people playing the Batman. Oh, I got you. I see. Yeah. Uh, so Michael Keaton, then my second, my second favorite Batman. I I think his Batman voice was horrible. Yeah. Not like he swallowing razors. Yeah. yeah. Um. But I I do believe that his name's Joker was really. Good. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the Scarecrow was good. Now, I, I hated seeing Scarecrow in the second one for just a snippet. Like, like you're defeating... I hate when movies do that, when they defeat uh, part one's villain. The whole first movie yeah. is about beating X villain. Yeah. But then in the second movie, beat, you're basically in the same boat that you were in the first one. Yeah, you beat... You beat and then you beat him immediately. Yeah. And then you're moving on to a whole new villain. Yeah. Which wasn't the second, was the third. Who, uh, well, yeah, Ray Shaw, wait, hold on. It was Bane in the third movie. Who was in the second one? Heath Ledger. Ray Shaw Ghoul was. Ray Shaw Ghoul was the first one. Ray Shaw Ghoul and Scarecrow. Okay. Ray Shaw Ghoul and Scarecrow. Oh, no, I'm sorry, you're right. No, 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 you're right, you're right. Yeah, he beat Scarecrow in the very first. They beat him again in the third one. Remember, he took over the little town. Yeah. Which I thought was kind of cool he came back, but I just. Uh, he's like yeah. the judge and juror. They're supposed to be supposed to have the Joker do that. All right. So they... I love that actor. Yeah. Killian or Cillian. Right. I've heard it said both ways. Murphy. Love that guy. 20 okay. Days Later. Best zombie. Movie. That was Ever. the main character in that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jim. Like 20 Days Later, better than... Hey. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we just had a, good, had a good start. Had a good potential, but... I like the start. I really like the start. Yeah. Because honestly, like... And he was painted as a coward, right? In the movie? Kind of. But like... What else you going to do? Was he really, though? I feel like he wasn't. Like, he was by the end. Like, yeah. he was obviously like, oh, I'm scared. Well, little by wind. the end, he was a zombie. By the end, he was a zombie. But like, at the end of him being a human. But like... That's, yeah, that's, that's K. Wrap it up. We might have to. But we didn't even get to anything. No, not really, but it's fine. We have a long list of things, and I have, I you have a whole worst jobs, and, and 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 chainsaw. Yeah, and I had I had another big one that like we could go. Oh, that's a deep, deep uh, rabbit hole that we could go down with this one. I still kind of want to go back on to cops being portrayed in movies and dirty mm-hmm. Harry. Carrying the fifty cal or whatever. Oh yeah, 45. the forty four Mac. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, different guns. Did we just say <laughs> thirty? I don't know what he was carrying. I don't know what dirty Harry. I don't think I've ever seen Dirty Harry. Oh. Hey, hey, family. Hey, girl. Hey, did I park in your way? No, you parked out of her way. For dinner. You got two suckers, huh? Oh. Why is my buzzer? Oh. Damn. Love you. We're doing it. Trying. But what? Nothing. Are we dying? We're probably about to finish up because yeah, I got to go. We're about to roll it out. Well, that was fun. Yeah. That was fun. Part two. Success. Part two coming soon. Yeah. Or just go with the 15 that I have. We'll here. get like an outro going and everything. Yeah. Time for